this song is about my colon, so if you were grossed out easily by talk about butts, then you shouldn't listen to it. Also, it has some bad words. So, PG-13. I have a complicated relationship with the distal portion of my large intestine, also known as my colon. I started feeling kinda shitty when I turned 23, and then the pain got worse and worse every day, and the days turned into weeks. I finally went to see the doctor, made me poop into a cup, and then a few weeks after that, he shoved a camera up my butt, and the camera was in a tube. And the tube, it pumped out air so that my colon could inflate, and they could look around in there. And when I woke up, the doctor was looking at my chart. I called his attention to me with a 15-minute fart, and he said, son, I hate to tell you cause you're probably not gonna like this but they got a name for what you have and it is ulcerative colitis and in those seven syllables there's a mess of shitty news it's likely that you've had your last healthy feeling booze it's like road rash on your colon you'll bleed it'll hurt and no one knows what causes it and there it's no cure and yeah your chances of cancer have gone up a bit but colon cancer is curable if you keep your eye on it see what's really gonna piss you off is how much you're gonna pay i know you're not insured and you'll probably stay that way see insurance companies hate to deal with sick folks like you. They don't like taking money from folks they might have to give it back to and your pills are gonna cost you both your arms and at least one leg. I suggest you go to Canada, get on your knees and beg me cause here the costs are as high as the market can bear and they can bear a lot compared with soiled underwear. I sat there on that bed and thought about how I used to like to boo. I thought maybe there was a mistake. How could this be true? I asked the doctor, bleeding, begging if he was sure and if he was how could it be that there was no cure? The only cure we have, he said, is to take the whole thing out and then they get your movement sound we install a little spout i told him that i'd rather take a thousand thousand dollar pills he agreed and sent me home with similar sounding bills and now really what i've learned besides the importance of fibers that the healthcare system's more screwed up than a 50 year old bread subscriber didn't enjoy that as much as I did, but I, I hope you did. Hi, this is Hank Sock. And I was wondering, um, Hank? Hank. Dude, it ruins the illusion when you do that. Ugh, I'll be down here. Oh, sorry. I was wondering if you ever get pissed off that John gets to answer questions all the time, and you never get to answer questions, because you don't have Question Tuesdays. Come on, let's look for some questions. Okay, I found some. Not a lot, but some. Are you gonna come out with another album? Yes, I will be putting out another album. I don't know when it's going to be out though. Hank, what's going on with DFTBA Records? DFTBA Records is doing very well. We've just released Dave Days' first album. You know, Dave Days, he's got like 300,000 subscribers or something ridiculous. So you can go buy his album at DFTBA.com right now. Also, the DFTBA Records compilation album is going on pre-order today and it will be shipped out on June 1st. It's got Charlie is so cool like Alex Day, Michael Aranda, Molly Lewis, Julie Noons, Alan Mustafka, Dave Days, Tom Milsom, and it has Anglerfish on it. And it's also being bundled with Chameleon Circuit's first album. Chameleon Circuit being the Time Lord rock band with Charlie is so cool like and Naramon in it. If you're at LeakyCon, you'll be able to get this there. So don't pre-order if you're gonna go to LeakyCon because you can get it faster from me. And as happens every Wednesday, the DFTBA Radio Hour will be beginning soon. There's a link in the sidebar. And what about LeakyCon? I'm very excited about LeakyCon. John and I have been working on our speech all week long. If there are nerdfighters in and around Boston who aren't gonna be at LeakyCon, are they gonna be able to hang out with you at all? Anything? Anything for non-Harry Potter nerdfighters at all? John, unfortunately, will be leaving immediately after LeakyCon, but I will be hanging out in Boston just a little extra, and I'll be playing songs and gathering with Nerdfighters at the lily pad from 4 to 5.30 p.m. on Sunday. So it turns out that I do like answering questions. So if you would like to leave some in the comments, I would answer them later. John, DFTBA.